share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is- A peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked... Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> Alright, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates, clothes changing. Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes come- I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing clothes. Much better. How long am I gonna have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well then, there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say, I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night. Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's all right. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? Twee. <gasps> That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. 
It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper, and you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help. Oh, princess, hey. I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor, helpless princess should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny, I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry. I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor. He has amnesia. Do you know what this means? <sighs> not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money, and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, 
babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. <laughs> yeah, you know what, would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning. How did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work and I'm going to go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo. <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... <laughs> Mommy, where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy. Jason, I knew you'd come back. Where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real fa- Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy and we're gonna go get her nails done. 
Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you. And I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax. But if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dressed all fancy like that? I am going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place?